So we recently introduced our EFR32 FG22 platform. These chips are designed for applications that will be built around 2.4 gigahertz proprietary type solutions. These proprietary solutions are often done by customers when they're trying to squeeze the absolute last uh, amount of performance or reduce the power consumption to the absolute bare minimum for some very challenging applications that need either extremely long battery life or ultra-efficient uh, RF communications. So FG22 is part of our, what we call, Series 2 uh, wireless platform. Uh, this platform leverages the same technology that we use in our BG22 family, which was just awarded Best of Show at Embedded World for 2020. FG22 unlocks uh, some really interesting high volume applications that our customers are, are developing. Many of these applications uh, need extremely low power consumption. So if you were to look, for example, at an electronic shelf label that would be used in a store to give you real-time pricing, these devices are expected to operate from five to 10 years off a single coin cell battery. The low power platform that we've enabled with Series 2, along with the ultra-efficient radio that we've incorporated, allows our customers to meet these demanding uh, performance requirements with uh, ultra-low power solution. So FG22 includes a high-performance, low-power, 38.4 MHz ARM Cortex M33 core. This core is high-performance and only will consume about 8.2 milliamps of power when we're transmitting at the highest output levels of uh, plus 6 dBm, and will only consume 3.6 milliamps during receive. When we deep sleep the FG22 for standby, uh, type conditions, we only use 1.4 microamps. So the product provides exceptional energy efficiency. One of the really interesting features we have in our FG22 platform is a, is a feature we call RF Sense. When you're in these ultra long lifetime applications, the devices will often spend extremely long periods of time in sleep mode. If you can only wake up the device when there is a communication that it needs to receive, you can further uh, extend your battery life. So what RF Sense allows the device to do is stay in a very low sleep mode until it detects that there is a signal available for it to receive or present for it to receive. That will then allow it to wake up only when it needs to to receive a packet or, or some information and then immediately go back to sleep to further extend battery life. So for IoT developers today, security is becoming really top of mind in terms of an of a area they need to address. And we've really considered security across our entire Series 2 portfolio. FG22 has some very interesting features, including uh, hardware acceleration for uh, various cryptography functions. We have a secure boot feature with the root of trust, which ensures that the device can verify that the firmware it's running has been is genuine and properly signed. Uh, in addition, we have the ability to lock and unlock the debug ports on the part so that a customer can uh, program their code on through a debug port and then securely lock it so that later on after the product's deployed, malicious code won't be or can't be injected into the part. The advantage of our debug port is if for some reason there would be a field failure and the customer needs to now diagnose it, with their secure key, they can unlock that port and still be able to snoop and see what's happening inside the device without leaving the device uh, exposed for the potential to have malicious firmware injected. Uh, additionally, one of the features we have is a NIST compliant true random number generator. So this allows customers to, uh, when they create cryptography keys or do other features to ensure that uh, the numbers they're creating uh, are, are unique and not reproducible. The, one of the features we have is what we call secure boot with root of trust and really that helps developers address one of the most difficult problems they have and that is to ensure that their device is running genuine known good code. So what secure boot with root of trust does is ensure that the mechanism that will load and boot with that code uh, cannot be corrupted. And that allows the code that is being, the customer code that's being loaded to be verified against a known good um, a bootloader to ensure that it's been signed and is genuine. So not only is this useful to help protect against uh, malicious code being injected, say, through a debug port, it also ensures that if a customer does an over-the-air update, 
that the device can validate that the code that it's received has come from a known good source. So that also prevents uh, a malicious attacks on the networks. So we, we talked about the importance of ensuring that parts are running known good code and the root of trust being a way that the device can validate that the codes come from a genuine source. Uh, programmers or customers, they're going through their development cycle, will need to download code to the part while they're developing. Um, and then after they have their final code, program parts in production. Uh, the ports that allow you to program the parts are very useful during this stage, but can also be misused and abused by bad actors who want to use them to inject malicious code. So one of the features many devices have had in the past is the ability to close down this debug port. Uh, that prevents the malicious code from having a, a path to be injected, but also makes it more difficult moving forward if there's any problems with the device where a customer would want to open it back up to sniff underneath the hood to see what's happening. With our ability to securely lock this debug port, the customer takes a secure key and will tell the device to lock the port. Later on, if they need to do some sort of diagnostic or failure analysis, they can use that same key to unlock the port to allow them to see what's happening inside. So it gives you the um, protection against code injection while still having the flexibility to open the part back up if you need to do some sort of diagnostics. So the type of applications we'll see customers um, deploy FG22 to our um, numerous battery powered um, long life applications. A good example of this would be electronic shelf labels. If you imagine a store with electronic shelf labels for every product in the store, there may be 10,000 labels in a, in a large retail store. Most of these labels will be run from a battery, so you need to have extremely long battery life uh, and also very good RF performance in an environment like that. FG22 allows customers to create a optimized solution for those types of applications to have just the right communication protocol or uh, just the right uh, data type payload to optimize the system for that longest battery life and um, the best RF performance. We'll see that in applications outside of electronic shelf labels as well for um, sensor networks or even for some building or home automation devices. Customers will still create a, uh, a customized RF communication protocol to squeeze the very last bit of, of life out of a battery and to get the very last bit of RF performance for their system. So if you look at the, the retail space, um, FG22 is really a great fit for these battery powered electronic shelf label applications or even for like smart digital displays. So uh, stores now are, are really transforming the way they're presenting information to customers. And this will include through things like customer apps, uh, loyalty apps, and uh, also digital signage. So if you look at the ESL market, it's Estimated that we'll top about half a billion dollars in 2019 and grow to about 1.8 billion by 2025. ESL systems, as we discussed earlier, are often battery powered and extending the battery for the longest life possible uh, is critical because you don't want to be changing 10,000 batteries in a retail type application uh, very often. So this uh, extremely low power consumption uh, coupled with that great RF performance really makes uh, the FG22 a great fit for applications like ESL. If we look at other applications outside of, of retail and ESL, we also see the FG22 as a great fit for um, applications such as battery powered sensors or even um, automation uh, applications like switches or, or dimmers. If the customer is trying to get the best battery life and the best RF performance, they'll often want to craft a customized solution and FG22 gives them a platform to do that. So FG22 was announced on February 20th and general availability of samples and development kits will be at the end of March. Uh, FG22 is based on the same award-winning Series 2 technology that our BG22 is based upon, which won uh, Best of Show for Embedded World uh, 2020. 
If you'd like to learn more about our FG22 products, you can visit our website at scilabs.com FG22.